and I really want to get rid of this base. Okay, let's just go, actually. Because I have to finish the research, and then I have to actually make these things. We'll just do it. Okay. Right, so I assume this is an ethereal base. It might not be. But we've had a lot of ethereals recently, so I assume that's what it is. But that might be a different base entirely, so who knows. There are some sectoids out there still, like this could be a sectoid base. Uh, yes, ethereal base will have sectopods, I assume. Because the bases do have terror units, so... If it's an ethereal base, there will be sectopods, which is why I brought uh, more blaster bombs. We have, I think, 18 total. I guess I could have brought the second blaster launcher, but again, accuracy does matter for this thing. It will matter inside the base, especially. There are a lot of narrow corridors. We don't want to misfire a blaster launcher. We definitely don't want to do that. That would be really bad. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I can bring heavy explosives. Probably won't use them, but he can carry them in the backpack, so why not? Okay, we're ready. This should be fun. Okay, let's get started then. So, as before, I'm just going to wait on the first turn. Let them do their thing. One or two usually shows up. Just face away with the blaster launcher, preferably. I do have a weapon, right. I do have a weapon here. Let's use this one, actually. Here you go. Just drop that on the floor. And Agent Trollinch can get that. I'll just drop the second blaster launcher on the ground for now. I shouldn't really need more than one person with the blaster launcher all that much. One should be enough. And it will be here. I will just leave it here. Yeah, this might be a little bit trickier with only 10 people instead of 14, but the tank will help. I'll still wait one more turn. I think there's something nearby, because the screen flashed. There's probably something. Oh yeah, we can see something. There we go. Yeah, I assume these are ethereals. Yeah, I think it's an ethereal. It looks that way. Yeah, it's an ethereal. Right? That was the sound of an ethereal, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hi. Another one. Okay, that was quite a lot of damage. 47 health on the tank. Okay, another ethereal. I guess I should shoot it. If I take one more shot, I will not be able to move off the elevator. So let's move. That was a pretty nasty shot right there. 47 health, down from 90. So that was a shot for more than half of the tank's health. Okay, Red Narican can handle this. Uh, no line of fire, okay. Yeah, they have anti-tank. Yep. Okay, back we go for a moment. Now, I should send some people with good reactions down here. You know what I could do? I could actually launch a few blaster launchers, like, blindly. Yeah, the command center is close. I'm actually tempted to just launch a few blaster launchers, just blindly. There's a lot of stuff in this base. Chances are we'll hit something. Like, there's a good chance I'll hit something if I launch it blindly. Uh, this is the command center. There's a pretty good chance I'll hit something. Right, so hold on. I should be able to launch it through the lift, no problem. I think I'll just do that. So, if I do it like this... Now, this is a little bit risky because this can still miss. But I think I can do it, like, through the window, like this. That should work, right? I'm pretty sure that will work. Yeah. We killed three of them. <laughs> hey, it's a legitimate way to do it. It's not like the number of blaster bombs is a problem. So if it works, it works. But I will only be doing it uh, with randomies. Because he has 92 firing accuracy and he can still misfire a blaster launcher. Then it will, like, veer off the path, and it might hit a wall prematurely, for example. And with that said, if I want to use more blaster bombs, most of them are here in the other room, which means I have to either move him there, or I need to taxi some of them. Because right now I have five more. Six more, because this is loaded. A six is probably enough, though. Like, I think six is enough. 
Okay, there's yeah, sectopod. Right, let's go back. Now blasting that one might be a little bit more complicated because I don't really have a clear path. Or rather, there is a path, but I can't see it right now. And I don't have a blaster bomb in this room. So, I might have to kill this one the old-fashioned way. We'll see. There will be a few sectopos in here for sure. So I assume it still is somewhere close. What I want to do is mostly neutralize the command center. There might still be more dudes around here. Okay. Oh yeah, here, sectopod. So I can back up and hit it with another blaster bomb. He might shoot me, but I can't be too close if I'm going to use the blaster bomb. Yeah, it's fine. It's time for the blaster bomb. That's just the best way to kill them. It really is. <laughs> Why would I use anything else against a sectopod here? Clearly I wouldn't. Yeah, with that said, this is still technically kind of risky. I shouldn't misfire it with 92 accuracy. Like, this gives me 110% accuracy with the launch missile. I'm pretty sure that means I will not misfire it. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. But if I don't hit the lift here, then I will blow up my four people. Obviously, I wouldn't want that. Yeah, see, I still misfired it. Or did I just mis-aim it? No, I think I aimed it properly, it just still misfired. I did not hit my tank, but yeah, the sector body is still there. So do I move down here? This might be a different sector pod, not the same one. Yeah. Might be a little bit hard to take this one down from the front. And I assume he has some time units left. 48 health is good, but these guys can do a lot of damage. Yeah, not sure about this. I could prime a grenade and then throw it on the next turn or so, but one or two grenades will not kill it, that's not enough. Not even remotely close to enough. I think I'll just have to shoot it a bunch of times. Yeah, okay. We're fine, actually, we're fine. What? He didn't even take any damage. <laughs> Alright, the armor protected him. Okay, let's send Sir Guard. Two more shots. This will not be enough to kill it, probably. Not from the front, anyway. But we'll do some damage, at least. Okay, 20. This is still fine. Using the lift costs 12. Now, he will be able to shoot me through the lift, too. I think I'll just stay up here. Okay, one more auto shot. And back we go. Yeah, slightly to the left. I can't move this dude. I can't even turn him. He might get shot from the back, which would be kind of bad. <laughs> we can have alien bait closer. Can I shoot through the lift here? Uh, no line of sight, okay. Yeah, so there's also a sectopod here. If I get unlucky, this sectopod might take out the tank. Which I don't like, but alright. I'll have to wait for another blaster bomb. I could throw a grenade and throw it on the next turn, but one grenade won't do much against a sectopod. Okay. While he's here, I need to back up if I'm going to launch another blaster bomb. Okay, another ethereal. So let's blast that sectopod. Uh, yes, let's. Now I'm a little bit paranoid about launching the blaster bombs from over here. Okay, got it. Not sure if I can take out this ethereal. Maybe, maybe not. I can send someone down here, but they won't be able to go back. Nice. Okay, very nice. Back up a little. <laughs> this is a lot of smoke. Now we got the other sectopod over here. I guess I'll send alien bait. He can leave out to his name here. Uh, don't see the sectopod anymore. I don't really want to stay down there when I know there's a sectopod. Not really. Yeah, not really. I need to get rid of it first. So reload. 
I got four more bombs here. Once I use up the four bombs, I'll need to taxi a few from this room, or I need to send him into this room. One or the other. I can probably taxi a few. Instead of these high explosives. So, that'll do. Need more time units. I could still grab one more, but I don't necessarily want one in my hand. That should do. Okay, that's good. So that's four blaster bombs. We'll taxi those. Uh, right, so let's take a look. There might still be more enemies around the command center. And again, we know there's another sectopod here. Another ethereal, okay. We can try. I can probably shoot him from over here with someone. Who has the most action points here? 69. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. Well, hey, I should be fine-ish with all this smoke, right? <laughs> not sure if I want to kneel. This does not feel totally safe, but I did blast the command center with a blaster bomb earlier. Got him. I might just use one more blaster bomb here preemptively. I might just do that. Like on the other side of this thing. I wouldn't want to hit my own dude though. Uh, 52 to launch a missile. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hit him. That would be bad. That would be really bad. This should be fine. Uh, how big is the game? It's pretty small. I'd have to check. This makes me a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. And I'm still not 100% sure about the exact mechanics here. Because again, I have 100 something percent accuracy. In theory, that should mean I shouldn't misfire the first few waypoints. Okay, I didn't kill anything, but it was good to make sure anyway. <laughs> Just nuke the entire place from orbit is the only way to be sure. That's literally what we're doing. Except not from orbit, but that's still what we're doing. There's still a sectopod down here. Who has the most health? This guy. 48. Ray. Uh, yeah, I can't see the sectopod. Yeah, there it is. Now I can see it. It faced away. Good. Now we can probably kill it. Especially if he doesn't have enough time units to turn back and fire back at me. If he doesn't have enough time units here for a reaction shot, we will kill it. There we go, nice. I didn't even give it a chance. Uh, let's just go back, play it safe. We killed quite a few enemies already. Okay, another ethereal. He's facing away. Nice shot. Didn't quite kill it though. I can probably get line of sight. Another ethereal. That's a blaster launcher. That is a blaster launcher. Okay, okay. You may fire when ready. Again, I'm operating under the assumption that it's impossible to miss the first waypoint here. Not sure if that's correct, but for me the implication of 110% aim means I shouldn't be able to miss the first one. Okay, that guy needs to go down. That'll do. Okay, this guy didn't go down. I probably can't kill him. Let's just back up so that he won't be able to see me. There's going to be a lot of smoke in this part of the base. What's everyone's reaction here? 53, 57, uh, 60. Okay, so let's send Agent Chorange down here. Because I have to start moving down here eventually. I guess I can send all three of them. Maybe spread out a little. Okay, spread out a little. That'll do. I got two blaster bombs left in this room here. Okay, this is fine. I'm not in a huge rush to move down this lift, not gonna lie. Oh, yep, another sectopod. Uh, okay, let's shoot him. Yep, he will shoot me back. Fair enough. Uh, one more. Good. Oh, okay. We took it out already. Sure. That was pretty fast. Must have been a lucky shot. 
This is going well so far. Ethereal leader has gone berserk. All right. There might still be stuff in here. Was this an ethereal leader? I, I can't see him anymore. Yeah, he's not here. I don't know where he is. He's in there somewhere though, because we didn't kill that one. I think it's time to move. All right, let's go. We'll spread out a little. Alien bait. Oh, yep, another one. And uh, alien bait died. Well, he did get killed by an actual alien. So he fulfilled his purpose in that sense. Yeah, alien bait. Rip alien bait. No idea what shot me. Eh, uh, that was... Okay, okay. Might have been another sectopod. Yeah, I wanted to throw that flare a little bit further out, but didn't quite work out. Yeah, F's in chat for alien bait. Yeah, this might be a sectopod. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, we'll find out. Not the hard way, hopefully. Okay. Uh, that was like a grenade or something? No, that was a stun bomb. Yep. Uh, somebody has to take a look around the corner, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Sir Guard. It is supposed to be his job. Maybe I can find out with the tank. Oh, okay. That's the ethereal we saw earlier. Got him? Yeah, this guy had the stun bomb. Okay, yeah, it's a sectopod. I guess I'll just blast it. I'm pretty sure the sectopod killed alien bait. I'm pretty sure that's what happened there. Okay, blaster bomb time. Let's go. Uh, that will be a bunch of waypoints. Should be fine, but I might not hit it. Let's go. Yeah, okay, that actually misfired. It went straight past him. So I did not actually hit it. I have one more blaster bomb in this room, and then I'll have to taxi the rest. So that did not quite work out. Can I even shoot him from back here? No, I cannot. There's no line of fire. Let me grab this flare. Be throw it further out. Uh, there's no real need to throw it anymore. There's fire on the ground. But I'll still throw it anyway. I could throw a grenade, but I don't think I have enough to do all that. So that's 43. Well, no, because I still need to turn. I need to go back around the corner. I can prime it, but a grenade will not do much damage to a sectopod. I might just use another blaster bomb on it on the next turn but that will be my last one in this room that will be my last one i can't really take him out with the other part of my squad here blaster bomb abuse damn right it is damn right absolutely it's blaster bomb abuse they would have no problem using blaster bombs on me if only this wall wasn't here but unfortunately it is there might still be something in here but that seems fairly unlikely. We really obliterated that area with the blaster bombs. Ethereal soldier panicked. Okay. Well, we know he's there. Hello? Uh, where did you go? There he is. So, another blaster bomb? I think so. I think so. I'm pretty sure he will have time units left here, so if I move out and try to shoot it, he will shoot me back. Like, I'm pretty sure that will happen. With that said, again, this will be my last bomb in here. If I want to use more, I have to taxi them from the other room. That is quite a few waypoints. Not sure about this. Okay, so if I miss it like the way I did before, uh, that will hit the wall and it should still do proper damage. Okay, let's go. Uh, nope, yeah, I hit this one. That's only semi-helpful. Yeah, that's not very helpful. That didn't even give me, like, line of sight through here. This is not great. With that said, he doesn't really have enough time units to go all the way here and then shoot me. So I'm safe in that sense. 
but I can't blast it anymore. I have to kill it the old-fashioned way. I think I'll just stay in here because he doesn't actually have another weapon. Yeah, I should bring some spare blaster launchers. That's what I'll do next time. Because the way I did it meant that this room, which starts with like your inventory, didn't have a spare blaster launcher. I had my other two equipped on soldiers who started in this room on the left. So I had the bombs in here, but I didn't have a spare blaster launcher to use them with. Okay, this should be clear. <laughs> Emphasis on the should. Only one person died so far. Okay, send the tank. Yeah, there he is. Right, so I think the best way to do it now... No, he's a bit too far away. I can't shoot it from the back. He's too far away. I assume he will shoot me back if I take a shot right now. And he could actually take out the tank, but the tank is expendable. He didn't hit me, he hit the wall. So one more shot and then I can hide. I could probably throw a grenade like this, land it next to it, but that's not going to be enough damage, not even close. Unable to throw here, yeah, okay, I can't do it like that. Okay, I thought I might be able to. That's not close enough, but all right. I think I need to move forward, get closer to it, like over here. Hopefully no sneaky ethereal will attack me from the flank. Okay, I can shoot it from here. That's 25 points for an auto shot. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Then back up a little. I can't go all the way back, but this will have to do. A sir guard could maybe... No, he's too far away. Okay, I'm pretty sure I won't take it out on this turn. I don't really have a follow-up. Okay, move into the smoke. It would be pretty bad if something flanked me right now. <laughs> yeah, so I cannot get line of sight from here. I just can't. And I don't have enough time units. This will be the turn. Yeah, this is an ethereal base, so they have sectopods, not chrysalids. Chrysalis are with uh, snake men, right? Hello? Where did you go? I know you're there. What the heck? Oh yeah, there he is. Well, I can shoot it from this direction. I can shoot it from here, but then I will have no action points left on the tank. If I take this shot, I'm pretty much committing to killing it. If he does have time units left, I would rather have him waste them on my tank than on my actual soldiers. No, I can't take a shot from here. Never mind. Okay, who volunteers? A 53 health on alias Alpha. Oh, I can't even shoot him from over here. Can I? And no, I can't. I am technically inside the smoke. I should be able to destroy it from here. I have four people who can take shots. Okay, he did take a shot, that's fine. Nox. Now he's facing me, which is not brilliant. Yeah, shame my tank can take a shot. And I don't think anyone from this group can take a shot either. Yeah, okay, now I'm not sure if I can take it out. Maybe. Might be a problem from the front. Might be a problem. Yeah. And alias Alpha is a little bit exposed here. This would be my last auto shot. And I wouldn't be able to hide if I use it. And the Red Narican only has 27 health. So maybe not the best. Yeah, sucks that I can see it with the tank, but I have no line of fire. There's the wall blocking my shot for the others. So not ideal overall. Oh, there's an ethereal here. Sneaky! Okay, that's very sneaky. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere now. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this one. I do have a bad feeling about it. 
not much else I can do though, this is basically it. Again, I could take one more auto shot, but that means Red Narican would be almost guaranteed to die, he has 27 health. He has half of Alias Alpha's health, literally half. Yeah. Not ideal. Not ideal. With that said, I can position him in a way that he would maybe get a reaction shot if the Sectopod decides to move towards me. So something like this. This way he would have enough for an auto shot or a snapshot. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, he's moving. We did not get an auto shot, but he also didn't shoot me. Okay, now I can shoot him with the tank from behind. Again, I'd rather have him destroy the tank than kill my soldiers. Yeah, this is fine. He didn't even destroy the tank. I didn't even take any damage. Armor absorbed it. Now I can get rid of it. Now it will be easy. Okay, the only problem is that... Yeah, let's move out of the way, because... If I use an auto shot, and like the first auto shot takes him out, uh, the other auto shots might destroy my own tank. That would be pretty bad. See, this is another thing, this is another reason why I would like to see uh, these mechanics make a comeback in XCOM 3, because you have to consider things like that. Like if you misfire, and there's a large unit you own behind your target, or if you use an auto shot or rapid fire, kill your target with the first shot, you might actually hit your tank, for example. There's a very good chance you will. You had to consider things like that in the OG XCOM. And so that's a step down in Firaxis XCOM. I would really like to see that again. Because in Firaxis XCOM, whether you hit or miss is decided the moment you take the shot. Like the roll happens when you take a shot. And the rest is just like a visualization of that roll. You can hit some of the environmental elements, like some wall, you can hit the wall, you can hit some objects if you miss, but you cannot hit another soldier who was in the way, for example. Like, there's no actual projectile. I mean, there is because you can see it, like, you can see the animation. But there's no projectile in the sense of this game, where you actually fire a projectile, and it actually moves from the map, and it can hit things on the way. That does not happen in Firaxis XCOM. And I would like it to happen, because then you have to consider situations like this, where you might not want to risk destroying your own tank. So that's pretty much on top of my wishlist for XCOM 3. One of the top items on my wishlist for sure. And then again, the 360 vision needs to go away. We took out the sectopod. We're not done yet though. We are still not done. Okay then. There can't be that many more left, but there might still be sectopods. There might still be sectopods. Okay, nothing over here. There's sometimes an enemy, like, over here, camping in that small room on top. Yep, that happened multiple times, and it happened now. They like that room. Okay, good. Still not done. Alright, alright, still not done. They might be in some of these small rooms in other areas. And there might be something like in the corner here still and here all right well we'll find them i'm still not sure if i want to move away from here but okay let's just get him out of here i still want the ability to use the blaster launcher so pepe is taxing the blaster bombs yeah let's keep sir guard over here in case something shows up oh yeah there's an ethereal all right, all right. Uh, that's a bit awkward. Surprise! Is that the last one? Uh, no, not yet. We have to be getting close now. I can't imagine there are too many left at this point. We'll see. Okay, let's take a look around. There might still be a sectopod somewhere. This looks clear. Yeah, I'm thinking they will be somewhere in this area. If I had to guess. So we'll take a look. Maybe send more than two people at a time. This room is probably clear, like we killed the guy up top. So, right, the blaster bombs. Oh, yeah, we got it. Uh, right here, Ethereal. <laughs> My tank went straight past him. Okay, 
Okay. That's fine, I guess. Bit of an awkward angle. Yeah, he's in that, like, tiny corridor over there. Come on. He dead. We're still not done. There can't be that many more left. There can't be that many more left. Okay, blaster bomb delivered. <laughs> Ethereal leader panicked, okay. That might be the last dude, wherever he is. Uh, Alright, let's grab uh, the blaster bombs here. I probably won't use them, but I'll have the option of using them. Uh, yeah, not enough time units. There you go. I should double check this room anyway. Yeah, let's just double check it. Make sure. Looks fine. Oh yeah, there he is. And that's a blaster launcher. Where are you going? Are we done now? Yes, we're done. There it is. So only alien bait died. But he lived out to his name. He died in an alien base. 1100 score. Alien bait too. <laughs> 16 aliens killed. 420 score. Stat gains. Plus free accuracy still for firing the blaster launcher. All right. Yeah, we did recover a live alien. Some promotions. Yeah, Alright, so let's check who is going to be alien bait 2. Should be someone... Probably with a decent health and decent reactions. Okay, that's not too bad. 56 reactions. 33 health though, and very really low accuracy. 54 reactions, 38 health. 50, 54... Oh yeah, 59. Okay, let's use Valentin here instead. He can be alien bait too. He still has good stats. 50 reactions is not as high, but it's decent for a rookie. 38 health is okay for a rookie. None of the stats are particularly bad. Throwing accuracy is a bit on the low side, or more average. But that doesn't really matter as much. Melee accuracy is low-ish, but I won't really be using that. But good all-around stats. I could just hire more people. <laughs> it's not like I can't afford them. I could take like the worst stat soldier and rename him Sif Beyond Earth. <laughs> it would be appropriate, I think. I mean, nobody here has like super bad stats. 28 health. Yeah, 28 health is kind of low. Not sure if I want to use somebody with 28 health. This is more average-ish. Okay, so 40 firing accuracy on a rookie is the lowest it can be. 52 reactions is decent though. Okay, let's use this one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can be safe beyond Earth. Alright, let's finish the flying suit now, shall we? Uh, we are making that firestorm. And some powered suits, that will be done pretty soon. And I think I hired more soldiers. Yes, I did. Uh, okay, right. These are like the two really bad dudes I sent over to North America. They can chill in there. Uh, yes, it stayed the same. Because I tried... Wait, what happened there? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I guess we shut it down. Right, that's a new batch of soldiers. Let's check if there's anyone like really good in that batch. And by really good, I mean way above average. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. This is pretty good. Okay, this guy is actually pretty good. 50 accuracy, 58 reactions. Okay, ish health. Cyril Harteros. Alright, let's send him over to Europe. Off you go, then. How's that research going? Should be done soon. Okay, we're done with the powered suits. Let's wait for the research then, that's almost done. Uh, very large, so that's a battleship. Uh, I can't shoot that down with a firestorm, I would need an Avenger. I mean, I can poke it, but that's like poking a bear. I probably can't even catch it. Why is it here? Yeah, I can take a few shots, but no, this is a bad idea. I don't like the fact it's here. I don't like the fact it's here. Well, if more show up, Maybe they're building a base in Europe, that's possible. 
uh, hopefully repairs won't take too long. Uh, two days, 22 hours. Okay, I can live with that. I don't like this thing at all. Not one bit. Hey, get over here. Got it? I can rename that guy I sent over to Europe, maybe. He was actually pretty decent. Uh, okay, this guy. Oh no, it's too long, damn it. Oh, now I'm disappointed. I mean, I can just use G. I could do this. Grzegorz Brzęczyszczykiewicz. Okay, I'm going to pause the clip for people not familiar with it. It's from a Polish movie. It's actually great. So, should we keep it like this? Because, yeah, I can't make it any longer. This is actually the exact character limit. I can't use even one extra letter here. Let's actually keep it like this. I think that's fine. Alright, I think that's fine. So you will be Brzęczyszczykiewicz. And we can have you on the Sky Ranger already. I actually have some space. Uh, somebody was wounded, I think. Maybe not. Oh yeah, and let me add like an extra blaster launcher or two. I mean, I have a lot, so might as well. Here, four blaster launchers. That'll do. Now I want my flying suits, damn it. This should be done very soon. Yep, there we go. Right, so here's a comparison. <clears throat> it does have a little bit of extra armor. So even if we ignore the ability to fly, this is an improvement. Okay, in terms of percentage, it's actually quite a significant improvement from anywhere other than the front. It's still plus 10% from the front. So it is an upgrade, even if you ignore the ability to fly. Right, so now, uh, now we could just do the leader. Uh, I've done Alien Origins, so now we can do the leader that will unlock uh, the Martian solution. It doesn't actually matter which leader. So, I have more than one. Okay, let's do the leader. That should be quick, especially with so many scientists. And we'll make some flying suits. At least 10. 16 Nellerium, right. They are a little bit more expensive. 16 Nellerium for one suit is definitely quite a bit. So, I think I'll only use them for my actual Sky Ranger crew. Maybe get some extras for when people get killed, in case they get killed. And it will take a while to actually make all these. Well, that's fine. Uh, right, we have a crash site. I guess I can do that. Okay, we can do that. Uh, I could send some lower rank people. Okay, let's remove some higher rank people. They can take a break. And uh, we'll take a few others. Here you go. Maybe Nox can take a break too. We'll take Chris Eyelid. <laughs> uh, did we finish any flying suit yet? Uh, not yet. Okay, that'll do. Let's go. Oh, all aliens were killed in the crash. Auto recovery. Okay, works for me. Works for me. <laughs> yeah, another very large. Oh, is he actually... Wait. Is he doing what I think he's doing? Was this ba... Yep, he is. And the, the Sky Ranger was actually out right now. Because I was recovering that thing. Okay, well, we're doing it. So... Let's see. I guess people with no armor could use blaster launchers. 